So over the holiday weekend, you had two more. What did they look like? Uh, one was rather decomposed and was a floating animal, but we were able to determine that it did seem to be a gunshot case. Uh, there was some evidence on the body from visual examination that led us to believe that. This radiograph that we're looking at right now, it shows bullets in the skull area. So do you sometimes see a healthy animal on the outside and still can find out later that it's a gunshot? Absolutely. We've seen that in several cases. Uh, there's times where we aren't able to see that external evidence until we take that radiograph. You've been doing a lot of the necropsies. What's that been like for you? This is a, an extreme spike in what we normally see. We see one to four dead sea lions throughout King and Kitsap County, generally this time of year. But to have 16 dead, that's an enormous spike. And it is hard to see when we don't have an answer for why all of them are dying. So it seems like there's been a lot of antagonism building against these mammals, the seals and sea lions, because they eat a lot of salmon and we don't have a lot of salmon anymore. And there's been a lot of effort to try to save the southern resident killer whales who need that salmon. How does this play into that, in your opinion? I definitely think it's had some impact. The fact that this has now been a hot topic for discussion and the ORCA task force has been talking about this, but this doesn't seem to be a management issue. This isn't the way that I believe any of the fishing industry people would suggest we go about managing the population. This is more of an animal welfare problem, and it seems to be the actions of a few individuals rather than something that the whole industry believes we should be doing. I don't think this is the way to go about it. These uh, few cases that they are, you know, shooting these sea lions, this isn't going to help the salmon problem.